Hello everybody, welcome to another Dead Good Walk. Today we're at Zentral Friedhof, which is Central Cemetery in Vienna, Austria. Uh, we're just coming in through the main gates at Tor number 2, which is Gate 2. I think this place has got something like 9 or 10 different entrances, but this is the uh, main one. Now this place is absolutely massive and we're going to see famous graves such as Beethoven, Johann Strauss, Mozart and uh, Brahms and just other big monuments that you've probably never ever seen before on a scale you, you can't imagine. I don't know if that's overhyping it too much but it's pretty impressive. So we're going to start at um, this terrace here on the left. Oh, it's good to be in a bit of shade. It's uh, 39 degrees here at the moment. And that's in the shade, I think. Look at some of these. Weinerberger. Look at the ceilings. This next one, Ziegler, Zietlinger. Look at the old uh, Victorian lamps. Amazing. Now, I'm not sure what's going on here. It's like Middle Earth, isn't it? With a, a couple of dwarfs, or I don't know what they are. Very strange. If anyone knows what's going on let me know. There's a crypt entrance down there. So we're across the way now at the uh, terrace on the right hand side. This one looks a bit fancier. God look at these statues. Rudolf Klein. Flipping neck. This one's crazy. Friedlander, Dr. Max Friedlander. She's lost an arm. Lautner. Brockel. Brockel Lautner. Dr. Rakhat M. Aliyev. Stunning. And this one's just got Alfred flicking it. Plenty more space look for the uh, for the rest of his family. So it must be pretty new. 2019 is that? Some sort of uh, funeral cloth there. Princeps. We had a Princeps at uh, Brompton Cemetery, I think, didn't we? Indian chap. Wanderash, 1888. I think she's had enough of the heat as well today by the looks of her. Stunning sculpture that. I'm like a kid in a candy shop today, I don't know which way to turn. Nice family crest there. Lovely bus there. Who's this one for? Von Haas. That's magnificent, isn't it? Check out this veiled lady. Doctor Noth Nothing Nothing Winter. That's incredible. Spooky.
the ivy just makes this one, doesn't it? Can't read the name on it because it's covered, but look at that. Even the wood's growing on it. What's going on here? I thought she was slapping his uh, bum there for a second. Petter Habdig, Habig, sorry. Look at this, just a row of statues. God. It's a shame to walk past them so fast, but this place is so big. It's going to take us about three hours to look around the whole thing. Some sort of explorer. This is mind blowing. That's as big as a Karl Marx bust in uh, Highgate. Look at that, still very much a live cemetery here. There's a funeral going on at the minute. This is uh, soldier and field marshal Henrik von Hess, who died in 1870. Can't read the name on that, but it must be something to do with this, this big sculpture here. Whoever this is, I'm not sure who this one is. Boiling already. Something written in German on that side. No idea. Look at that. Muller. Oh, it's got a little door with a little uh, peephole at the top. Look at that door. Let's have a look. I think that's a gate and then the coffin behind it. How cool is that? That's brilliant. So much detail on this, isn't there? There's the name Dr. John Pree. Look at the curtains on it. Crazy. Amalig. I'm sure he's famous, but I've never heard of him. And I'm guessing he was a painter. Look, people have put actual paint on it. It's run down the back. Rudolf Eitelberger. He was a art historian and founded the Vienna School of Art History. Great tomb that. This is how warm it is look. Walking through the sprinklers. Soaking wet but dry within about five seconds. No name on this one. This guy was an architect, Julian Nydzielski.
the relief on this one looks like Albert Einstein. Flipping earth, look at this one. God, I've never seen anything like that before. Kubinski family. Look at all the sculptures, they've got the whole family out. Stunning. Look at that. Gates open, so I guess we can have a look. Family Thonne. Michael Thonne. I've not heard of him, I'm afraid. Beautiful tomb. This one's a bit special, isn't it? I love the painted ceiling with the stars on it. Can't read the name though, it's in that gothic font. I struggle to read that for some reason. Now look at this, it just goes on and on and on. I'm not sure which way to go first. So I'm struggling to find uh, the Beethoven and Mozart uh, area and I've just asked somebody and they said um, when you see the Mozart mo um, what did they say? Monument. It is just a monument, he's not actually buried here but they've told me where he is buried so after this we're just gonna Ooh, wasp we're gonna um, look at that jump on a tram and head to Mozart's real grave. Now the guy said it's just down here somewhere. Oh yeah, this is it. I think this is called um, Composer's Corner. Something like that. Oh look, Beethoven. God, can you believe it? Ludwig van Beethoven body is buried down there. This, I think this has got to be the most famous grave I've ever been to. Um, and if you don't know who Beethoven is, you really should. He was a composer and pianist. Um, but these days, his music's probably in most um, fancy car adverts, isn't it? I don't think kids these days will have a clue who he is. But look at that, that's incredible. Right now I'm the closest person to Beethoven in the world. I'm not going to pretend I sit there listening to classical music on Spotify, but I appreciate a historical figure. So this is the fake, well not fake Mozart grave, but it's just um, just a memorial to him. So we're not interested in that. Here we have the grave of Franz Schuber, another composer. I think he died in 1828, I think. Wow, Johann Strauss. Um, oh god, this is my, I don't know what to say. Um, fun fact, Johann Strauss was at Beethoven's funeral. If that's a fun fact. God, look at that on the harp. What is that? Stunning. Right next to him we have Brahms. If you haven't heard of him, he, imagine when you're putting a baby to sleep and you're playing that lullaby song that was his song so you probably know most of the songs by these composers here but you just don't know that they're by them 
Nikolaus Dumba. I don't know this one unfortunately. But look at the serpent there, eating itself. Sack of life. Dr. Carl Ritter, look at that. He's considered one of the uh, founding fathers of modern geography. Not sure who this chap is, but look at that for a monument. Stunning. Johann Ritter von Herbeck. Must be a composer if he's in composers. Composer's Corner. Franz Soup or Supper. Looks like another composer. Streicher. I recognise the name, but can't think of who he was or what he did off the top of my head. And here we are back at Beethoven's grave. Can't believe it's so surreal being here. So this is a contemporary part of the cemetery with some unusual monuments and statues in them. And look at this clown. How creepy is that? I never heard of the person though. So I told you it's a bit contemporary and a bit unusual in this part. And look at that curly sausage thing at the end. I'm not going to go film it while those people are there. Look at this next one, piano covered in a cloth. This is Udo Jürgens. Um, I don't know that much about him. I do know he won the Eurovision Song Contest in 1966 and he sold something like 100 million records. So quite a popular person. Let's see all the little tributes left to him. Rest in peace Udo. I've got to show you this next one, it's the best grave I've ever seen apart from that pink sausage over there. Or that I hope's a pink sausage. This is the, and I've wanted to see this for so long, it's so funny. This is Manfred Dieks, or Manfred Dykes maybe. And he was an Austrian cartoonist, quite well known. And he has a cat with a crown on it as his uh, gravestone for eternity. What a funny guy. That's brilliant, isn't it? So we're going to head over to the chapel now and um, look in the two terraces either side of it. But I'm going to have a sit down first and have some water before I pass out. Here we are in the uh, left hand side terrace. Nice and cool in here. Family. I won't say that. Lovely angel there. Horbath. Ludwig, Josef, Kathy. Manto Ways. Look at that, very Al Capone isn't he, that chap. And a more modern one there of Gilda who died in 2001. Johan, can't say that last name. Hilda.
of what's through here. I can see it's locked already, but steps down there on the right hand side. Must be a crypt. Boiling. Got all the roses here. Clearly well loved and well remembered. These plants are nice, aren't they? down the back of the chapel now <clears throat> absolutely huge this one looks interesting Look at those little figures behind the glass. Lovely. Look at Erica there, smoking a fag. Couldn't care less. <laughs> Brilliant. And Carl, over this side. 2002, he passed away. Lovely ceiling. So much carving of the stone in here. So we're now in the terrace on the right hand side. Very Art Deco that one. Art Deco Angel. It's grand in here, but still nice. Quite a few uh, smaller monuments and just plaques on the wall. But still, it's nice and cool, so I'm not complaining too much. Lovely mosaic there of uh, Jesus. really plain in here. I wonder what these uh, tubs are here. They're just for putting flowers in. Oh, look at this guy. Victor Grawls. Gross. Looks like he's been shot under the eye by somebody. Or maybe that's how he died. Strange. Another big cauldron type thing there. Love the statue. I wonder if it's made to look like that or if it, whether it's dust. Oh, it's dust, isn't it? It's plastic, that. It's 
strange. I thought it was bronze or copper. Hmm. I'm gonna have to touch every single statue now to see whether it's uh, metal or plastic. This is probably the scale of St. Paul's in London, but obviously not as well known. Bauer, lovely plot. Uh, Weiss family, this one. I've got that uh, plastic statue on my mind now. You can tell these ones are um, real because of the uh, metal alloy running down the sculpture and staining it green. I don't think they'd put plastic ones outside anyway in the sun. I don't think they'd last too long. You see the green there running down the wall of this, uh, underneath this cherub. Creepy. Let's go have a look. I've just spotted these uh, sphinx behind the bushes. They look a bit out of place, don't they, on this uh, monument? Look very odd. Sorry to walk past all these amazing sculptures, but um, really spoiled for choice today. Can you imagine these in like Highgate a Cemetery or Brompton? You'd spend ages looking at them, wouldn't you? A strange one, you can go up the steps and go inside. Like breeze blocks, or cinder blocks if you're in America. So we're just on our way out now, heading towards the exit. But I just wanted to uh, have a look at this one on the way out, I just spotted it from across the road. Look at the grief on the woman there. Stunning. I don't think the camera picks up the scale of these, especially that one there for Adolf Knorr. Just absolutely mind blowing. Oh, this was one I've seen before. Um, there's no name on it, it just says unknown artist. So, I don't think anybody knows who it is. If you do know who it is, drop me a comment. Stunning relief on that one. Look at this woman on here. Staring at the relief of her husband, probably. Heartbreaking. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap this one up now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. So we're just going to jump on this tram now and head down a couple of stops to find uh, Mozart's grave. So that'll be in the next video.